At the Apostolic Nunchatur in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Pope Francis met with victims of the ongoing conflict in the eastern part of the country. One of the victims was Ladislas Kambile Kombi, a 17-year-old farmer whose brother and father were killed and his mother was kidnapped. He, along with two other young people, forgave their attackers. C'est difficile de comprendre une telle méchanceté, cette brutalité quasi animale. Très cher Père, nous vous remercions d'être venu nous consoler. Imelda Mkarhungulu recounted the horrors her village faced after a raid in 2005 when she was 16 years old. J'ai été retenue comme esclave sexuelle et j'ai subi des maltraitances pendant trois mois. Chaque jour, c'est cinq à dix hommes qui abusaient de chacune de nous. Ils nous faisaient manger la pâte de maïs et la viande de chair des hommes tués. Des fois, ils mélangeaient les têtes des gens dans la viande des animaux qu'ils nous faisaient manger. C'était cela notre nourriture de chaque jour. After each testimony, the group laid down symbols of the attacks, machetes, clothing, hammers, even a mat, each forgiving their attackers. Pope Francis condemned the violence and destruction. He expressed his solidarity with the victims, saying that the church will always be on their side. À vous, chers habitants de l'Est, je veux vous dire, je suis proche de vous. Vos larmes sont mes larmes. This conflict is between warring rebel groups in East Democratic Republic of Congo. It has increased tensions with the country's neighbors, and it has claimed the lives of three million people over the last 25 years.